In this screencast, we will look at how BrainPop and Google Apps are working together. My specific goals are to show how you and your students can log into BrainPop with their Google Apps accounts and how to send quiz results to a Google spreadsheet. Okay, here I am in a student account. You can see Corinne at mcdowellstudents.com. Corinne is actually my daughter and I use this as my uh, test student account. Anyway, the new way to log in to BrainPop for students is to come to this More button. If you click on it, you should get some options, and there is one for BrainPop. This is in the Google Apps Marketplace, so what this means is it allows us to install it and then create an account for each individual student with just a couple of clicks. And you can see that I am logged in because we have a logout button. And we're going to do a video and quiz on cyberbullying. So I'm going to search for cyberbullying, pick this topic, and we have the movie that you can uh, start playing, the kids can watch. Hey, what are you doing? Well, who told you that? Dear Moby. You are the ugliest shade of orange I've ever seen. Get a clue, weirdo. A friend. After the students watch the entire video, then they can take this quiz. So we'll take the quiz. A couple different options, but we are going to do a graded quiz. These are typically 10 questions that the uh, students can do. So I'm going to go ahead and take the quiz. Okay, I just finished my quiz and this screen pops up giving you a, a couple options. Number one, they can print their results. They can email their results and this will generate an email directly to you that shows lists all the questions and shows exactly which ones they missed. You can view results right on the computer screen, or we can send this to the teacher's Google spreadsheet, which is what we're going to do. So we'll click on here. And here is where they have to put in your email address. And I'll go ahead and click OK. Now it's sending our results and our quiz results have been sent. After the results have been sent, you can see that I scored a 10 out of possible 10. They can review their answers if they did miss something, and they can take the quiz again. And if they take the quiz again, it is possible to send those results to the Google Spreadsheet as well. Now I'm going to switch back to my teacher account. And now in my teacher account, instead of having an email generated, it will make a Google spreadsheet. So I'm going to go to my documents. And modified today, brand new spreadsheet popped up and it says Brain Pop Quizzes. I'm going to click on it. And when you first see this screen, it doesn't look like there's anything there. The, what you need to look for is at the bottom, and you can see that we have the cyberbullying quiz. And here are the results. So you can see that the account for my daughter, Corinne Slutsky, has got a score of 100. If multiple students took this quiz, they would, they would be listed here. And also note that there is scores 1, 2, and 3, so if they didn't do so good and you let them retake it, those scores would pop up here. And that's all there is to it.